Hi, I'm Dr. Brad Beckham, a general surgeon and part of the surgical team here at Baptist Memorial Hospital, Golden Triangle. Tonight I want to talk to you about which medical specialties perform robotic surgery. Robotic surgery was developed in the 1980s as a research project investigating remote surgery on the battlefield. In 1999, the FDA approved the robot for laparoscopic surgery. It was quickly adopted by specialties that operated in parts of the human body that are difficult to access, such as the pelvis. By the mid-2000s, urologists were routinely using it for prostate surgery and have expanded its use to kidney and bladder surgery. Around 2005, the FDA cleared gynecologists to use the robot for hysterectomies. Its use has been expanded to remove fibroids, endometriosis, pelvic organ prolapse surgery, and putting tubes back together after sterilization. In 2007, Baptist Golden Triangle was the first hospital in North Mississippi and West Alabama to obtain this technology and develop a robotic surgery program. Since then, robotic surgery has been adopted by other specialties, including general surgery. General surgeons, like myself, use it for gallbladder surgery, hernia repairs, colon resection, and reflux surgery. At academic medical centers, you may find ENT surgeons using it for thyroid and oral cancer surgery, cardiovascular surgeons using it for coronary artery bypass, along with heart valve replacement, and gynecologic oncologists using the robot to resect cancer of the female reproductive system. Because of training, technology, and experience, minimally invasive surgeons are able to offer patients smaller incisions and improved outcomes. If you are considering surgery, ask your doctor to discuss minimally invasive surgical options with you. Join us next time for Health Talk with Baptist. Mail your topic suggestions to Health Talk at WCBI.com. Health Talk has been brought to you by.